Well, we already know that too much sugar is unhealthy and it can cause inflammation. And it's not new that cancer cells love sugar. So if you have cancer, it's best to avoid sugar, especially refined sugar. Now, a new study from the Berkeley Lab of Life Sciences Division shows that the way sugar is metabolized defines whether or not cancer is present. And a cancer cell can absorb 400 times more than non-cancerous cells. Wow. Yeah. Huh. It kind of gives you a clue that they need sugar. And so they have a mechanism that allows them to do that. So they concentrate it, and then they use sugar in a different way because basically they don't have the mitochondria, Vicki, that healthy cells do, which are the en energy packets in cells that allow them to make uh, ATP, which is the energy currency of the body. So if that's not motivating enough to stay away from sugar, I mean, I don't know what is. Yeah, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get cancer if you do that, although I'm sure there's a slightly increased risk for that because you see that in situations where people have high levels of sugar, like in diabetes. Right. Well, the other thing is, is you could have cancer and not know it. Oh, for sure. And then you eat a lot of sugar and you can get it going. Yeah, so it's one more reason why you wouldn't want to be consuming a lot of sugar. There are lots of reasons why sugar is not good for you. So tell us more about this study. Okay, this was a study that was done and published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation in December of 2013. And what they really showed is that is a kind of, of glycolysis which is a metabolism of sugar that cancer cells like and what they're, they're reduced to having to use because they can't uh, make energy out of fat, which produces a lot more energy. They're at a disadvantage there, so they have to use sugar. They also, as you said, show that you get 400 times more of, a, of an ability to bring, cancer into, or to bring uh, sugar into the cell than a normal cell does. And it activates certain kinds of cancer genes uh, where they start to do things that are different. So what happens if you block the glucose in the cancer cell? Well, then the cancer cells that revert back to normal. It's interesting that Mina Bissell, who is a person who did a lot of this research from the University of California in Berkeley, uh, showed that if you change the environment around a cancer cell, there's something called the extracellular fluid. When that extracellular fluid is of a certain uh, type, like, it, like too much sugar in it. <laughs> well, maybe that would be part of it, but there is a, a conversation that goes on between the extracellular fluid and the nucleus and the DNA of a cell that determines whether or not a cell can, is going to become cancerous. So this dialogue that goes on is regulated by factors outside the cell. So Which the, is a big surprise. The extracellular fluid can change the DNA then. It changes the way DNA behaves. So what you have is in some instances where she did research, she showed that you could take cancer cells, change the extracellular fluid so it doesn't have certain things in it, and the cancer goes away. So there's like a, a very important concept here that we haven't known about before. Well, so then is that giving people permission to eat sugar and then figure that they can just cut it out later and it's going to go away? No, I don't think so. No, it's not going to do that. Yeah. But what it is going to do is it's going to alert some of our researchers to the fact that there is more to what causes cancer than just the, the abnormal DNA that's in the nucleus of the cell. Well, even though it's not easy to cut sugar out of your diet, mm -hmm. it's better to cut the sugar out of your diet than to take chemotherapy. Well, if you can look at it that way, yes. And the chemotherapy is going to damage the normal cells, and cutting the sugar out isn't going to affect the normal cells. No, not so much. That's right. So. It's smart to have a diet that's healthy. I mean, lifestyle is our, our most important medicine. So if we do the things that we can that are under our control, like eat a healthy diet, exercise, get enough sleep, reduce stress levels, avoid environmental toxins, weigh what you should, you're going to have the best chance to do well. So it's not like this is telling you you can't eat sugar, but it probably is going to make it uh, a problem more so if you have cancer well, if you have if you cancer, don't. it's probably better to try to focus on a, 
on a diet that's high in vegetables. Well, more in, that's true, and, and, and a lot of, uh, of programs do that. The Gerson diet is big on that. But if you look at the metabolism of cells, the metabolism, the metabolism of a cancer cell says, I need sugar to survive. And that's why it transports sugar across its boundaries, its cell membranes, better than normal cells. But it can't use fat because the mitochondria of the cell, which is the main energy producing part of a normal cell, doesn't work in a cancer cell. So if you feed a lot of coconut oil and you go into what's called ketosis, which means that your body is uh, burning fat and it makes its end product of metabolism a ketone body, there are three different kinds of ketone bodies, you can measure to see if your body's burning fat more than it's burning carbohydrate. That's what you want to do in the case of cancer. You measure that with a little urine strip? You use a little you urine stick urine. that tests your urine for ketone bodies. So if you're going to manipulate diet, of course, not sugar. More in the way of healthy fats, such as coconut oil, so that you so can... So cook your vegetables in coconut oil. Well, that's one way to do it, absolutely. So maybe that's the answer to some of this. So we've learned from Mina Bissell's research that there are more factors involved than just DNA itself. And we, we also know that there are other things that we can do in lifestyle that are really important in managing to prevent cancer and if you already have it, to hold the check the best you can. <laughs>